Rabezi Ramirez versus Satoshi Shimizu, the co-main event of Fulton versus Inoue. This should be a good one. Let's get into it. Let's start with the champ, Robezi Ramirez. 12 wins, one loss, seven wins by way of knockout. The featherweight division is an exciting division right now because all of the champs in that division, man, they some tough cats, man. We're talking about Ray Vargas, who has the WBC. We're talking Lee Wood, who has the WBA. We're talking uh, Luis Alberto Lopez, who has the IBF. And of, and of course, Ramirez has the WBO. This is no easy route to any of these guys to get to the belt. But Robezi Ramirez, man, he might be the toughest one to fight to get that belt because of what all he can do inside of the ring. Since his fight with Abraham Nova, man, he's been fighting with a different level of confidence and belief. He's been sitting down on his punches a lot more. He's been more offensively in the recent fights than he has at the beginning right? He's slick, he's tricky, and he makes great level changes, right? And he makes great feints. And everything that he does in the ring, man, it's psychological, it's strategic, it's tactical. It may seem like he's not about to make him a move. And then the next second, he's pouncing forward and you're getting clipped on the chin, man. The man plays psychological warfare inside of the ring. He knows how to maneuver inside of the ring. He has great footwork as well. He's stronger than he looks looks right i think he's a boxer at heart that i would say but honestly man i think he prefers to fight on the inside likes to bang with the guys even though he doesn't have to do any of that right we know robesi's amateur pedigree and all of the olympics and all that great stuff so he doesn't have to fight these brawling fights but he likes to he's an accurate puncher he can slip almost any shot in Right. Sometimes he does get a little bit too overconfident and stands in the pocket a lot longer than he needs to. And his defense can take a lapse. He may drop his hands. But for the most part, man, he's pretty defensively responsible. He picks wise spots and knows when to unleash at the right time. In his last fight, when he fought uh, Isaac Dogbe, who was a former champion himself, who was tough. Uh, Dogbe has good power. He has great heart. He's relentless. He's just a good, solid champion during his time. When he fought Ramirez, man, Ramirez used his jab, his speed, his movement, the angle changes. It just put him a level above right? You could see, yes, Isaac Dogbe had some great shots, some great moments, and always is going to show a lot of heart and is never going to quit. But you could see Robezi Ramirez, man, once the fight started to go on and the more confidence Robezi started to get, he's a sharpshooter. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you let Robezi get his jab off and he's the one they tend the pace of the fight, yo, it's only a matter of time before he really asserts himself and that speed and that accuracy and that power now behind the shots, it just breaks you down. The man is dangerous. He's a tough night, man. He, he, he got popped in that fight by dog bay and he just ate it and laughed. You know how crazy you got to be. I see some of these boxers sometimes, man, they get hit and they just laugh. Right. <laughs> Robezi laughed it off and then put on a four piece combination of his own to get back that momentum. He's a guy that he can break you down and take you out. In his last four fights, only one of those fights have went the distance. I like watching Robezi fight, man. He's he's poetry in motion when he's in his groove and really in his bag, man. So we'll see what he can do this weekend. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. Let's talk about his opponent, Satoshi Shimizu. 12 wins, one loss, 10 wins by way of knockout. Got to be honest, I have not seen Shimizu fight before. 2012 Olympian, right? But off the jump, the power sticks out to me, right? The height sticks out to me. He's five inches taller than Robezi in this fight. The power also sticks out to me as well. And then the age sticks out to me. He's 37 years old now, so that's something to just keep in mind. But when I watched him fight, man, he uses his reach well. He jabs well. He's not stagnant in the ring. He knows how to maneuver in the ring, moves a decent amount. He's got a good uppercut, right, that he sets up very well from in close. He's a big fighter, big reach, but he can bang on the inside as well. He doesn't have devastating power. Right. He has that accumulation type of power where he's going to break you down with different shots. And that's how he takes you out. But once he gets confident, man, hey, he's not afraid to let his hands go. 
In his last fight, he fought Landy Chris Leon, right? And honestly, he dominated that fight. He imposed his size, power, strength, placement, and his punches on his opponent. And that fight only lasted two rounds, right? So when you he's actually never made it past eight rounds. The deepest he's been is eight rounds, right? His first loss came when he fought Joy Noene. And that was a very, how do I say this? A very weird ending, man. Noine jabbed him and then Shimizu put his glove up like his hand up like this and then he kind of just walked away right and he just dropped his hands as if he was like yo I don't want to fight anymore and Noine was like okay and Noine just let off some peace combinations and he got dropped and Shimizu never came out of his corner for the next round it was just very strange very weird it kind of looked like he quit to me Right, again, very interesting. If you've seen that fight, maybe you can give me more context behind it in the comments section below. But to me, from what my eye saw, it looked like he didn't want any parts of Joe None that day. Maybe the experience he kind of was starting to see, man, maybe I jumped into this fight a little bit too early because he did get pieced up that fight. His nose was bleeding. His nose was running. So maybe he jumped the gun stepping into the ring with someone who has that much more experience than he does. But since then, he's been on a big winning streak, a lot of momentum. So he's going to be looking to put on a great show in his home country. Uh, so who wins? From the fight I saw with Noine and his most recent fight, man, even with his physical advantages, I think Robezi is going to have his way in this fight, man. The speed and the skill difference, I think, is really going to show in this one. Shimizu is going to need to use his size and his length to keep Robezi away from him, and I'm not sure how long he will be able to do that, right? I think he's going to get frustrated because he's not going to be able to hit Robezi as much as he's been able to hit his other opponents. I think the power of Robezi is going to get to him. I don't know what Shimizu's chin is like. From what I've seen, it's definitely questionable. And the way how Robezi is fighting right now, man, he's just, I don't think this is a fight that he is going to lose. Obviously, in boxing, anything can happen. Anybody can lose on any given day and any given moment. All it takes is one shot. But in this fight, I have Robezi Ramirez winning this one by late stoppage. I mean, I think Robezi can stop this guy, and I'm expecting him to do so, or at least put on a great, great performance. But I'm leaning towards the stoppage play in this fight. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Man, shout out to everybody that continues to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Shout out to all of the subscribers. We're now over 3,000. Thank you for all that continue to watch, like, comment, share, subscribe. Shout out to all the members holding down the membership second. Shout out to everybody that is supporting the channel in some way, shape, or form. I appreciate each of you. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video, this don't do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.